Hey guys, I'm Xtravi, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Reshade into Roblox, otherwise known as Roblox Shaders. So first of all, you're going to want to download it from my website, which the installer is open source, so there's no need to worry about any viruses or anything like that. Once you have that, you're going to want to open up the zip folder wherever you've downloaded it, and extract the executable wherever it's most suitable to you. In this video, I'll be extracting it to my desktop because that's what makes the most sense in this video. Once you've done that, you're going to want to run the executable. But before we begin, please note that once the executable is done installing, like once you've installed it, you're going to have to activate it within Roblox, so stick around for that. So on this page, you're going to get an option for FPS Unlocker that uncaps your FPS from 60 to let's say 140 or something like that. So if you have a display of a high refresh rate, you can actually utilize that. Now that it's installed, you're going to want to open up any Roblox game of your choice. So just click finish and open up a game. In this video, I will be playing TikTok Dance 3 or TD, T, uh, TDD3 because that's just the game I've chosen for this video. Hey guys, Editor Extrava here, and before we continue with the video, make sure your Roblox graphics are set from automatic to manual for the shaders to work properly, and make sure it's either graphics 8 or 10. And graphics 9 will not work, unfortunately. You can go graphics 8 or 10, or if you have a lower end PC, try graphics 5. That may work, but I recommend using either graphics 8 or 10. I personally use graphics 10. Alright, thank you. I'm gonna continue on with the video. Once you're in game on the top left corner, you're going to see the option to press shift plus tab. You're going to need to do that to open up reshade because it's installed. Once that's open, you're going to want to navigate up to reshade presets. From here, you can pick a preset. For this game, I think no bloom ultra would be best suited. So that's what I'm going to select. Select lower if you have a lower end machine, like select no bloom low or low if you're not on the best machine or if you're on integrated graphics but I'm going to be using No Bloom Ultra. If you would like to disable effects such as reflections, just turn off SSR, and if you want reflections again, just re-enable it. If you do not like blur, disable ADOF and light DOF, and then you will no longer have blur. And if you want more saturated lighting or darker shadows, enable tone map. Once you've done that, reshade is successfully installed. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Now that you've installed Reshade into Roblox, you may like to uninstall it, and to do that, it's very simple. Just navigate to Settings, and look for Add or Remove Programs. Once you're here, search up Xtravi, select this, and uninstall. You've successfully uninstalled Reshade from Roblox, and it will not launch or open the next time you run the game. You will not see Reshade, nor will you have any shaders installed, and FPS Unlocker will also be gone. 